So today we're going to talk about pure culture. Pure culture is the growth of a single kind of free organism. Um, it's just one single organism. To obtain a, uh, a pure culture, um, you can start by just, um, for instance, if you want to do a urine culture, you would um, go ahead and um, first you need a clean working space. You can go ahead and sanitize your uh, working space with ethanol. You could, um, you would want to do a streak plate. You have two different types of streak plates. You have a TSA, which is um, triptych soy agar TSA, and you have an EMB, which is um, eosin methylene blue, um, which is um, which is for gram um, negative, which is E. coli, um, and if that. For the EMB, those typically show for um, for the E. coli, and if they are do come up positive, they will show up um, um, like a green metallic color. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and have your clean working space, and then you have um, your Bunsen burner, and you have your um, your Needle. You have your um, your loop and your needle, um, well, your loop, and you're gonna go ahead and um, before you start, you want to um, label the back of your agar, um, your the back of your street plates, and um, you don't want to label it in the middle because it could obscure your view um, once you have your specimens. Um, so you'll want to label around the edges, um, the date, and your um, what you're possibly looking for. So once you have them labeled, you don't want to do the lid, you want to do the bottom of them because once the lid comes off, you could get, if you're doing two different types of a street plate, you could get the lip, lids mixed up. So um, you want to do the bottom of the agar plates, the street plates. So once you do that, you'll go ahead and um, go ahead and get your um, your loop and get your Bunsen burner. You want to go ahead and sterilize that. You'd go ahead and get your um, once your um, your loop is sterilized. You'll go ahead and dip it in your sample and take it and you're going to smear it and um, streak it across your um, your agar plate and just for the, a quarter of it. Once you do that, you take it and you go ahead and sterilize your loop again. You're going to rotate um, uh, your uh, Bunsen, your Bunsen burner, your streak plate again. And then um, you're going to go ahead and do that. And then when you, once you, you're going to go ahead and take your loop and do one, drag it through one part of the previous um, smear and then smear it again. Do it a quarter of the plate again, sterilize your loop, rotate your plate, and then go ahead to the same process again. You're going to smear it and drag it through, rotate your plate, sterilize your loop, rotate your plate, and do it again up to four times. Go ahead and cover it. And then you're going to go your, to your EMB plate and do that same process again. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and take your um, street plate and put them in the incubator at 37 degrees for 24 hours to see what type of um, organisms have grown. Once they come out, you can go ahead and see what type of cultures have grown. At that point, you can see um, if you have a pure culture see what type of bacteria you have or organism you have that way you can see what type um, you can isolate the type of organism so you know what best 
um, antibiotic you can use to treat that organism that will be most susceptible to for that organism um, to help that patient at that time. Thank you. I hope that was helpful. Have a great day. Bye.